Alright people, game three between Sweet Backing and Without You for RTS number one, uh, first RTS tournament. Round of eight, I don't know if, it, if one of these players are going to be relevant, but just nice to see some uh, some new players are still going to walk our free pro scene. We're going to see the Undead is going to go and start with the Crypt and Altar, and he is going to get the exact same build against Night Elf last time. And Night Elf is going to go for the exact same build he won for game one. So this is going to be almost a repeat from game one on Plunder Isles 2.0. We're going to see Night Elf is going to hop in. The oh, wait, duh, I'm sorry. This is not Plunder Isles. Uh, the game one wasn't on Plunder Isles. This is Plunder Isles. Oh my Dad, god, what am I talking great. about? What am I doing? Uh, oh man. I was going to say, wait a minute. <laughs> so this map is really anti-expansion friendly. So because your expansion has two entrances, see that this is your natural as not from not elf not elf perspective. And you have this huge entrance here, a huge entrance here. You got two big entrances Someone like uh, like Someone Janet Jameson, but uh, but uh, that's that's why people Someone don't expand on this map not too often. Not a lot often, but if you're a human, you can tower up. Like you put an expansion here, tower here, tower here. Um, then uh, good luck taking down the expansion. But uh, also the expansion on the elevated ground, you can hold these uh, high high ground locations. So that's one thing for going for your expansion. And uh, also you gotta, uh, if you expand, you kind of have to scout really early and scout often. Because last game, I think what happened is Nano preemptively preemptively expanded. Summoning is complete. And uh, th he was way too far in economy, and Undead wasn't able to wasn't be able to catch up. And Nano was gonna scale the Undead, seeing exact same build order he saw in the last two games. So he's gonna expect the exact same thing from last game. Meanwhile, he's gonna creep with the Warden the first. Whoa! Oh. Uh oh! <laughs> oh man! This chick is gonna go down on her knees more often than uh, Janet Jameson. No, I already mentioned her name. Um, Storm Daniels. Stormy Daniels. That's uh, pretty. She's pretty hot though. Anyway, <laughs> just the name dropping porn stars, huh? DK is gonna head over here, and he's gonna see a warden, so he's gonna go for a coil. And I think uh, the undead is probably gonna go for a tier two right about now. Warden grabbed the cost attack plus six. Really nice item on the warden. Warden really is more of a melee uh, damage per, damage output hero more than uh, a tanky hero like a demon hunter. Every every race has this um, hero combination. One hero is always tanking. The other one's in melee support. And then you have a uh, few range heroes like yeah range heroes. And then um, for for undead you got one range hero, but every other race has two. They are more like one. One of them support. The other one is uh, damage per second output. So, if for example, uh, for example, whoa, here it comes. Oh Jesus, the ghouls are gonna surround the warden. For example, human, mountain king is a tanking hero. Uh, Paladin is a melee support. Archmage is a, a um, archmage is a uh, range support. Uh, and blood major range out uh, damage output. I, d I know it's not normally used that way, but that's what Blizzard intended. But wait a minute, he's gonna go for Aura first, okay? Uh, against the Warden, really? Because you, you gotta to heal your ghouls. Uh, oh, I don't know what this is about. Uh, okay, anyway, just see what uh, he's trying to do. Got a skeleton killed. Now the warden is level two. I wonder if the warden is spending this hero level. No, he's not. Probably saving for Phantom Knives or a blank. Let's see what he's gonna go for. If it's, I think if the undead goes for gargoyles, he's gonna have to pick bl uh, uh, not blink. Um, Phantom Knives. If it's a graveyard. Is he gonna go for second crypt? No, he's not. Looks like warden is gonna try to chase down the undead army. Let's see if he's gonna get a uh, another. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, don't get your heroes surrounded early. This is his problem. Holy God. Look at this. <laughs> run, Warden, run. Where is, he, where is he going? Where is he going? Is he going to try to she try to juke the run dead? What? <laughs> Warden. Uh, uh, <laughs> there's a shadow strike. At least gets one ghoul HP. That ghoul is going to be microed away. It looks like Warden is going to try to is safely back to her moon wells. The archers aren't out of the woods yet. Literally, they're in the woods of all the ghouls. Well, one shadow strike is 
really does ne no oh, next to nothing against right. ghouls. They can just go back to lumber. I mean, all these archers are going to be screwed. Are they going to be dusted here? Uh, no, they're going to be cornered. One of these is going to be cornered, and looks like uh, Warden is going to chase down, try to chase down one of the low HP ghouls. And this, oh, I'm sorry, wait. Yeah, Warden is going to chase down one of the low HP ghouls. And meanwhile, he's going to lose the archer, and give that archer the archer's course is going to be summoned to do two skeletons. I wonder how that works because uh, for an archer, you have one pair of arms, one pair of legs, and. Uh, and you know, one head, one skull, one skull, fish. one spine. Uh, how do you get two skeletons out oh, of that? I have no like idea. Somehow, the undead is reassemble all the all the bones, and you make two skeletons out of those bones. Uh, that's amazing to me. But uh, it looks like the archer is going to be around. Early games is really intense. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I love the Night Elf Undead matchup because there's so many strategies you can go for as Undead. And Night Elf, there's, there's, you have to counter the correct way, otherwise you can lose the game. And it looks like the Naga Sea Witch is going to be hired and the Warden is going to back off. And meantime, the Archer is going to be slowed as well. Let's see if the Warden is going to try to do some blocking against these uh, ghouls. But the ghouls are going to ignore the Warden completely. Uh, the ghouls can just turn around and go after that Warden if you wanted to. Archer is going to be killed. And that last is exactly what I was talking about. The, uh, the warden is going to be slowed by the uh, Naga Sea Witch, but still not a too, too big a deal. Panda, Panda, <laughs> where did you get? Is he even in love with tier two? He is at tier two, but why didn't he hire a Panda right there? Maybe he, he maybe he didn't want the Panda to be surrounded. Might want to get a Sca Stafford teleportation. I'm sorry, Stafford preservation before he hired the Panda. And the undead is still applying the pressure against Our the Night Elf. Night Elf has one lore is going up, and second one is going off as well. Tier three is on the way. We're see, the right, see right there, Night Elf has dumped a lot of money into production building and upgrading. So Night Elf is kind of weak right now, but Our so did Undead. Undead dumped this tier tier three and getting a uh, sorrow house and uh, getting a, more fiends. So this is going to be a very in intense late game. Uh, the warden's gonna creep jack it. No, he didn't. He's gonna creep jack again. No, but it looks like the oh god, huntresses. Okay, I really disagree with this because it takes so much money away from you. The warden was surrounded, but Undead didn't look this way. Warden was surrounded for a second, but I think she's gonna blink out. Maybe that's why Undead didn't just ignore her completely. And another archer is gonna go down, and it looks like that all the they uh want to try it almost get surrounded. In the meantime, more more archers are gonna go down, more skeletons are gonna be summoned. I think the yeah, it's out of skeleton staff. Warden <laughs> try to do her best to try to be the demon hunter that she's never can never be. Try to be that Superman that she can never be. I didn't take that back. And uh, oh, DK, you gotta come back here and block the for the. Uh, you can to block your own Naga Sea Witch. Okay, pass the DK. I would have think that uh, if DK blocked this correctly, I think that Naga Sea Witch would have been able to get away, and he would have been able to get away as well because he's just faster with a holy aura and just naturally faster as well. Like I said, I really disagree with like, getting hundreds of counting on that school because that's a hundred and ninety. 185 gold you never see again. This unit here is getting in decreasing in use uh, effective. Uh, his combat effective is getting uh, less and less as the game goes on because Research the fiends are going to come out, the they, uh, destroyers, which the hunters can never touch, will come out. The frostworms, which in the last two games the Undead has been getting them, they are going to come out. And Upgrade we're going to see, um, of course, Frost Nova is gonna be you gonna slow a hunters down for like five seconds. She's absolutely useless during those five seconds. Uh, and yep, that's why I disagree with hunters. But that this could be a. Uh, I think if you get warden, that this hunter point of getting hunters is the warden because the warden cannot uh, do damage like a demon hunter does. And getting Warden versus Undead is not as popular as anymore. Like I think Soccer, back in the day, loves Warden versus uh, and Moon too. Soccer and Moon both loves Warden versus Undead. I think the Warden is getting increasingly uh, less popular, and especially versus the Nova Lightning Coil. Warden is gonna get creep to level three point six. Where is the Panda? That's my question. Or is he gonna skip? Yo, oh, he's gonna solo warden. <sighs> All right, that never works. By the way, 
solo war never ever works against the undead. Why? Uh, you only have one staff of preservation. That's why you can only use a staff of preservation one time, and you're gonna have a bunch of bears in the front line. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do to save those bears, especially to save yourself? You, you can have TP. You have potion lesser vulnerabilities, and uh, uh, she does not have any inventory to carry those. But um, you can only save one bear at a time. So Rob, I'm sorry. It's gonna be a slaughter fest for the undead. He's gonna be shooting uh, uh, range like like uh, FDR. I think FDR had bears in the when he was in the White House. One of the U.S. presidents when he was in the White House, he had bears in the back of the White House lawn so he can't hunt. Uh, That's gonna be like that. The bears are gonna be freaking shot in the backyard. <laughs> it's easy as fishing, bear fishing the bear, the little fishing, doing uh, fishing the barrel. Just uh, see you later, bears, because uh, you only have one hero and one hero can only use. Only, and, and each hero can use the staff, uh, so you know you get what I'm saying. TP, and we're gonna see. Let's we'll just watch a bear. All right. Um, I feel like I should do a drinking game, except it's what at one o'clock in the afternoon. I don't feel like drinking yet. Just to drink every time a bear goes down. Ready? Ready? No, no, no. <laughs> not yet. Wait till the normal coil starter to come out. Warden gets the illusion and that speeds the destroyer mana even more. Nova Coil lightning on the Warden. And the Warden is gonna be chased around by the ghouls and the Oh look at the destroyers are loving this man free man. And watch the bears. One destroyer's gonna go down first though. Nova and there it goes one. Coil goes down the fiend though. And there's the fork lightning. Oh Jesus. DK got the TP out of there. Nah, DK no! Coil the Bear, that bear is gonna go down or not? Is he gonna go? Yes, <laughs> kills a bear. Why is CTP is away? Yep, I don't. I don't think the warden had any staff of preservation on him anyway, on her either. So, but <laughs> see, he's gonna keep completely given up, saving bears apparently. Uh, yep, sell this. I'm gonna sell the slipper, Jody. Getting a um, the sleeper getting a staff of preservation, away. please. Also, do not feed oh, destroyer, destroyers any more mana than they already have. And here comes abominations. What are you gonna do to counter abominations? It has to be bears, and the bears gonna be nuked left and right. It's only you can only save one every what 30 seconds. Um, yep, Lich and Naga are going to be really high up. Where's the DK though? Oh, he was killed by the by the shadow strike. Oh my god. I'm a oh my god I'm new. That's why he ah uh, man, because the shadow strike does not uh, care if you are temporarily invulnerable from the TP. It still kills you. That's why DK was killed. Or yeah, that DK was killed. Yeah, I, I think. Let's check the warden. Yeah, DK was killed definitely. Um, the one saving grace for having a solo warden is to have this warden hit level six. That's when. Things started swinging back to your night elf way, and here's the panda. At 13 minutes into the game, after undead getting complete, he's complete level tier three to arsenal. Oh, nice split by the alkalis! Look at this. One alkalis is gonna go down for sure. That warden, yeah, is gonna snipe by one alkalis and get out of there. Okay, interesting. Um, remember, like I said earlier in the game, this map is really anti-expansion friendly. Friendly. And that's why the under the, the nano hasn't expanded yet. DK should be on the way out by now, and I hope for undead players' sake he's gonna block his base against Warden. He needs one more Ziggurat over here to block the base. But if I were him, I would block like this is really good. And Our then getting a Ziggurat here and a shop here, that's that your base is completely blocked. He Warden has got to blink in to do any harassment. Warden, I don't, I don't know if you guys saw it. I don't know if you guys saw it. Chugged a uh, Tomo retraining. So she's gonna get level 3 fan knives. Here, over here. Undead is gonna creep his shop as well. One abomination is not enough. You're gonna get a second one. There it is. And no disease cloud. Hello, disease cloud, please. Warden is on the way to harass still. Panda is. Finished the, he's creeping and he's gonna get a TP on him. Warden is gonna get slowed, fam knives, and one acolyte is gonna go down. Look at the split. Oh my god. This is what you <laughs> this is what you can this is why maybe he didn't block his base because he knows he can split the uh, split his uh, acolytes uh, just to, he has a fast reaction finished. time to to protect himself from uh, getting harassed. But I think Undead is ready. 50 food for Nano, 49 for Undead. 
You gonna see a shade or what? Or he's not gonna forego the frost one thing. There's a big fight. We're gonna see the here's the fan knives. Orange gonna blink out of there. DK, DK is gonna charge the potion of healing. Nova and four grinding on the bear. The bear is gonna go down for sure. And but still, Panda is the one in trouble. Panda is gonna TP out. DK is the one in trouble though. Another Nova, another bear is gonna go down. Trade, trade is fiend. Really good trade for Undead. Undead is gonna just replace that fiend. There we go. And Nidal is gonna have to heal. But it looks like Nidal is gonna expand over here at the bottom right. I really don't know about that. Because that's not that. Your base is not that closer to your opponent's base on the bottom right. Um, but he, the Nidal needs expansion. There's no question about that. The bottom right is as good as any place on this map. Uh, Fiend is gonna get Dark Ritual. Did you see that? The Fiend wasn't even coiled. It was Dark Ritual by the by the Lich. Huh. Interesting. And at the meantime, maybe he's suspecting the Invisible Warden or something. Getting a Phantom Knife is gonna kill that Fiend. So he's gonna be like, oh, screw it. I'm gonna chug it. Skeleton is gonna be used to scout. And we're gonna see this base for life. Oh, God. If Undead comes over, cancel this base. There can be game. Warden's gonna come back in, do another round of harassment. This time he's gonna block his base, look at this. And the ghoul's gonna try to do some, uh, okay. Just fight back, but he's gonna use the over, over of, uh, Venom to kill these ghouls. Me at the meantime, he's gonna get pushed in the back, so Warden's gonna have to teach you to stop tell Christian to come all the way back in. That is gonna lose the lore for sure. Do not, yeah, do not take any more damage than you have to on the DK. DK is gonna have a lot of mana on him. Let's see, there's Koyo. One DK is gonna TP out actually. Is he all oh, because these fiends are in a battle location? I'm trading two fiends against a bear and a dryad. I still say it's undead favor, but undead needs to get needs to, needs to get this expansion down to completely lock down this game. I look like an idiot if undead loses this game. Let's buy like a landslide or something. And. Uh, no more ghouls for the undead, I think, because the wardens, the family knives are too powerful against ghouls, and the abominations, are, abominations and destroyers. Are the undead is gonna hop over here, see nothing. Is he gonna creep anyway? Or is he gonna see? Oh, a nice coil, just to kill that, uh, <laughs> kill that uh, wisp. And we're gonna see the warden's gonna come back for another round of harassment. But now the warden's level six. This can be, oh god, this game can be swinged the other way now. The warden is gonna come in. Get an avatar of vengeance here, and he he's gonna she's gonna get a lot of uh, spirits of vengeance. Is, is she gonna do that? I don't know. Because if he does that, then Undead can just go base trade against her, go straight to the Nato base. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's gonna get an avatar of vengeance, I think. At the meantime, Undead is gonna creep the top left. He oh, at that what three, three, three? Wow. Uh, that guy's gonna be killed here. Uh, Undead is gonna replace loads. In the meantime, he's not that he's gonna TP because the one warden is harassing him, really. Um, hmm. The damn stand. Anyway, it looks like the Avatar Avengers is gonna be is gonna be <laughs> with uh, the Knight of Army. I mean, while the wardens continue to kill Aklas. Oh my God! How many Aklas is that? At least two. And the third one is uh, going to be killed as well, but looks like the Undead is going to push the front. He's going to be, uh, screw my base. Warden is going to have to staff for teleportation back here. And uh, this is bad engagement from the Undead. Undead is not positioned yet. Right, Nova Coil did kill Bear though. Warden is going to be staffed staff back. That's going to buy Undead some time. But Undead needs to back off now. No, no! Undead needs to back off now! Oh, good god. And he's got the TP, save that abomination, save it! Uh, another bear is gonna be killed, but two abominations killed as well, but it looks like the bears are gonna be Oh god, breath of fire. Um, there's a TP, but too late. One the statue is gonna be killed, and it looks like that one bear is gonna be traded as well. Oh, uh, good fiend. This base needs to go down for the undead to completely win this game. But it looks like the fiends are going to be lagged behind. We need more abominations. I think 205 for abomination. Am I wrong? No? What? what? He used 205 or something? Oh, on a potion of mana. <laughs> oh, God. The dead stand ready. I really don't know if Undead knows about this base. Yeah, he does. He knows about this base with, with the skeleton. Is he gonna... Why is he banging his head on the main? All the, with all these moon wells and all these buildings. Why didn't he just go straight to the expansion? I have no idea. 
but the uh, undead is gonna heal up and then do a final push. No less, no lum no more lumber ghouls, and we're gonna see 46 food versus 59. Oh Jesus! Also a level six warden around. Uh, yeah. Warden's gonna run straight into the undead army, but he she's gonna see them before they do. Uh, he's gonna hide. Still no. Okay. Warden's gonna back off. Meanwhile, the undead, uh, sorry, the Night of Army is gonna go back to support his expansion. I feel like now uh, the undead, uh, undead uh, the Night of can expand here. It's gonna buy some time for, yeah, and the Night of's gonna scout over here and then expand here, maybe? And it's undead is getting more units and more abominations on the way. I feel like that reinforcement route is a little long for, for undead. Anyway, Destroyer is going to have mana now, we're going to see the, uh, yeah, the one, one of the statues is going to be turned to Destroyer, there we go, see, this is exactly what you're supposed to do, it looks like the Destroyer is going to go after the bears, yes, and press the fire, oh god, this is so one-sided, not even funny, Nova Coil the Panda, the Panda is going to TP or not, he's going to pop, pop the potion, that's probability here. Warden is gonna go after this DK, DK is gonna, uh, is gonna use death pack on a fiend, but still not enough, I don't think that this, uh, the bears are gonna be gone, cat. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah, this is... There's Nova Co Lightning Coil, uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> GG's, undead gameplay, GG. Uh, bad engagement by the undead player, he should have went for like, uh, going for like expansion instead of the main, he would, would have had a lot better results. But I hope you guys enjoy these three, three games, and see you guys later.